Hi there, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to paint a panda with acrylic paints, so let's get started. And let's start with a size zero spotter brush or round brush. And if you wanna paint along with me, you can just find the sketch linked in the description below. And let's start with this burnt umber color. And I'm gonna put that in for the eye area. This brush gives us some really good fine detail. And then let's grab a little bit of Payne's Gray and we'll put that around the eye. And Payne's Gray is a nice color because it's kind of like a black, but it has a lot of blue undertones in it. that can just make your piece look a little bit more alive and less flat. And then let's move to a straight black. Put that around the eye. And then let's take that black and Kind of go around the larger area. Just try to follow along on that sketch. I'm gonna spray the paper. Whenever my paint kind of starts skipping and isn't flowing very easily, I'll just add some water to it. Okay, and then let's take a little bit of Payne's Gray mixed with some white, titanium white. And then let's just add this little mark in here, little variation of tone. Try to mix wet on wet. It's just gonna act as a little bit of a highlight. Okay, so now let's switch to a larger brush. I'm gonna take a size four filbert and I'm gonna put a little bit of flow medium on my brush and then take some black paint and then let's start kind of outlining the ears. I can do this one as well. So we're kind of going around the edges and you can sort of blend it in as you go. And then let's take, I have a burnt umber. Let's put that along the neckline. Just trying to build out some form here. Then I'm gonna take this burnt umber and we can go along this area, kind of around the spots. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to the zero spotter. I'm gonna take this burnt umber and see if we can go around the mouth area. And then take a little bit of a red color, mix it with some burnt sienna, and see if we can put that in just to kind of suggest a little bit of the mouth. Then we'll take some dark gray and go underneath that. You can kind of outline the chin area here Let's take more of that titanium white and Payne's gray. See if we can go and add a little bit of shadow with that color around the face. You can come up here 
and add a little bit of shadow. Grab a little bit more Payne's Gray, mix it in there. So I want sort of a kind of a dark shadow color. I can put some of that in the ears. Just trying to build form. So I'm going to take a little bit of that chocolate brown and then use that to work on the dimension of the face a little bit. Trying to think about what areas are going to be more three dimensional. Okay, let's put in the nose area so we can take the Payne's gray and then carefully put in this area for the nose. And then we can grab a lighter value of gray and put that right on top, kind of mix wet on wet. And then you can grab a little bit of titanium white and then see if you could put just small little marks there for the nostril and try not to play around with that too much. Just kind of let that sit. So I'm going to take a larger brush. I have a size four square brush or flat and let's take some of this gray here. So it's just a light gray mixed with some acrylic medium. Let's see if we can put that in to cover up some of the white areas. Again, we're trying to build form. Let's come over to this side and it's okay if these paints kind of when it mixed together. Okay, we'll stay pretty loose around the edges here. Okay, so let's take some straight black and go into the ears. Just wanna kinda cover that white of the paper with the black. Okay, so now let's add in some white. So I'm going to take the size 4 filbert and let's take some of the titanium white and then let's put in some areas here that are going to be kind of highlighted. Start building the form of the muzzle and the nose. And underneath the chin, you can use a white color. And this area Got some brown mixing in there. I'm trying to be careful. Can put a little bit of a highlight here. And then over here. Just any areas that you want to emphasize and stick out. Be around the eyes. Okay. All right, so let's make up a little bit of a glaze color. So I can take some glaze medium, a little bit of this light blue, and quite a bit of water. And let's see if we can just kind of use this to cover up some of the white of the paper. Just try to make everything look a little bit more cohesive, come together. Make it look a little bit more complete. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm going to take that zero spotter and let's work on the detail of the eye. So I'm going to take some titanium white. And I don't want too much. I want just the right amount on there. So I can try to add little marks for the highlight. And then I'm going to go and add a little curve up here. And then add a little bit of a curve down under the eye. And that's, let's try that same thing over here. Try to move my hand, just put a little bit. So it just has to be really subtle. Okay, I think that worked well. Okay, so now at this point you can kind of step back and see what you might want to refine, what you might want to add. So I'm going to take a little bit of this beige color and let's see if we can just make some little lines. Kind of make it look like we have some fur. It can come off of the chin. Just add a little bit of texture. And we could do that same thing with the white paint. Kind of feather your brush. Just get the illusion of fur. Okay. And then I might take a little bit of Payne's Gray and I might make some fur shapes kind of along this edge here. Okay. All right, so I think that's all you need to do. So we will call this project complete. I hope you get a chance to paint along with me. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more tutorials, and we'll see you in the next video.